What you see spinning behind me, this is what we usually refer to as the cosmic web or galactic filament. Or I guess there are a lot of different names for it. They do represent the same concept though. An enormous formation of gas, stars, galaxies, and most importantly, dark matter that propagates the entire universe and serves as a foundation for pretty much everything we see around us. For example, most of the gas seems to flow through this web following a certain path. And various objects like galaxies and galactic clusters embedded inside the web will usually have their functions either increased or decreased as a lot of gas goes through the web and even have their orientation specifically positioned in such a way where different galaxies millions of light years away from one another will actually point in the same direction for reasons that would be otherwise unexplainable. And this is something we've discussed a few years ago. Because for example, different quasars in various locations in the night skies will actually often point in the same direction as if something is forcing them to be pointed in that direction. And through very detailed observations, it was then determined to be just part of that string of web or part of that very large galactic filament. And so this very complex structure of dark matter, gas, stars and galaxies interconnects the entire universe. Well, at least that's what we think so far. But it also very likely plays a role in redistributing a lot of material, feeding the formation of various galaxies or even stopping the formation of various galaxies and potentially having a lot of other effects we still don't understand. But trying to discover what's happening here or even confirming this obviously requires observations. But observational evidence has been very difficult to achieve because this web is extremely difficult to see. And what you see right here, this is one of the best images we've ever had previously. This was taken just a few years ago and it barely showed us anything. Many previous images were only captured as various types of light from, for example, quasars behind this gas sort of interact with it and allow us to see through. But because this web is so diffuse and so dark, it's practically invisible, yet still forms the largest known structures in the entire universe, very often consistent of things like walls, things like galactic clusters, and various sheets of galaxies, including what we refer to as the local sheet where the Milky Way is located. Here's actually what the local sheet sort of looks like from the top, with all of these relatively large galaxies positioned in pretty much the same plane of galaxies. There is really no way to explain this except for the existence of some kind of an invisible web-like structure that forces the galaxies to be on the same plane. And in between the filaments of the web, that's where you find the mysterious voids. Basically slightly emptier space that doesn't usually contain as many galaxies or stars, but still contains some stuff. The local void is the closest to us, but I think the most famous one is probably the Buddha's void. And though most of these discoveries and most of these observations took years and years, and also quite a lot of simulations, today there is very little doubt that any of this exists. And, well, how wonderful person. This is Anton, and today we might have even more confirmation based on new actual images. And not just simulations again, nope, we're talking about physical images produced by the scientists from the Caltech. But unlike previous images, these ones did not involve quasars. They were actually taken by producing very specific observations of hydrogen gas at different distances from planet Earth in different parts of the night skies, described in detail in the paper in the description. And the idea here was really simple. Because we know that this is where hydrogen basically flows through, the same hydrogen that usually feeds the galaxies, researchers realized we can use this idea to try to find some of this completely fresh hydrogen by focusing on very specific emissions produced by molecular hydrogen that should be visible in locations where there's just nothing else there. And according to modern understanding, at least 60% of all hydrogen out there is actually still stuck in the cosmic web and was never touched by anything ever, never used by anything since the initial formation of the universe. So basically most hydrogen should be still there and visible in completely empty space, but not as just diffuse hydrogen, instead present in somewhat chunky formations, very likely resembling long filaments, but also producing a very specific type of frequency known as the Lyman alpha line, representing the spectral line of hydrogen, producing very dim ultraviolet light. And by using the WMCAC observatory in Hawaii, 
along with a specially designed instrument able to observe these frequencies, the researchers compared various patches of the night sky, looking for concentrations of this alignment alpha by also subtracting some of the extra light coming from the atmosphere itself. And eventually they found quite a lot of it, with many different emissions being redshifted, suggesting large distances, eventually allowing them to compile a map in three dimensions. With some of this light clearly traveling at least 10 to maybe even 12 billion years to reach planet Earth. So this is some distant stuff here. And well, these are the first images. This allows us to see what this complex web probably looks like, even in the darkest parts of the universe. It's not super detailed just yet, but this is definitely a start. Naturally also representing the first ever 3D map of the structure, even though it only represents a tiny piece. In the past, in order to create 3D maps, we had to use simulations. And so definitely quite an impressive pioneering study, discovering a new way to see something that was previously completely invisible to us. And so assuming that this technique can be improved or even automated, at some point in the future, we might actually finally have a real three-dimensional map of the universe as it really is. Finally showing us if the cosmic web looks the way that we believe it looks, or at least the way it's been simulated in various studies, or if there is something else going on here that we still don't understand, which is most likely to be the case. On top of this, most of the studies today really want to focus on understanding how the web affects everything and how it seems to guide the universe, how it seems to evolve galaxies, and how it seems to produce certain observations such as positions of galaxies or, more specifically, galactic orientations that would be otherwise completely unexplainable. But since all of these studies basically only began a few years ago, it's still kind of early to assume what's going to be discovered here or what's going to be the result of all of these studies eventually. At the moment this is just a little bit more evidence that this is a real structure, it really exists, and it seems to be massive and basically everywhere. But what exactly it does to galaxies like the Milky Way? That's something we're not going to know for quite a while. Hopefully we will find out soon. Anyway, on that note, check out some of the previous videos on this topic in the description below. Thank you for watching, subscribe, share this with someone who has learned about space and sciences, come back tomorrow to learn something else, support this channel on Patreon by joining channel membership, or by buying a wonderful person t-shirt you can find in the description. Stay wonderful, I'll see you tomorrow, and as always, bye-bye.